Hi, I'm going to do another video. Um, we're at the uh, Bambridge workshop in Preston, Lancashire, and as you can see, we've got a plant stand that we're going to paint using Everlong Superior Finish Paints, and we're going to use Wedgewood, which is one of my favourite colours. I do sell quite a lot of those tins as well. So here we go. This paint's been open for a couple of weeks, so it's a little bit thick. You can always put a little drop of water in it if you want to. But it's such good coverage on it, it's brilliant. So again, turn it upside down, a little project start, start underneath, and work your way around. So again, really not a lot of paint on at all. And I'm going to take my time a little bit more with this one just to show you that you, you can cover this in just one coat if you want to. It's uh, it's better with two, especially if you're putting a, a lighter colour onto a darker wood. As you can probably see, I'll turn it so you can hopefully see on the on the film that it is actually covering really well. Just get rid of some brush strokes there. But if you were to give that a second coat, you wouldn't, you'd hardly see any. Wedgwood blue is just fabulous colour. I sell lots of furniture in this, and I sell a lot of a lot of tester pots for little projects. The tester pots probably going to do probably this project and and maybe another small one or or a full chair on its own. This plant stand's got a twist on the leg, so which is why I'm kind of doing this a little bit slower, doing it on a diagonal to just try and get the paint into all the bits. There we go. Again, this is a very quick project if you're looking for something that isn't going to take up much time the problem I had with working from home was trying to do stuff on a commercial basis on the kitchen table and then having to clear it all the way for tea time every day but quite frustrating. I, I, I feel very fortunate that I've now have a workshop that I can work in. But if you're at home with the kids and uh, you just want a little bit of a project to do on a weekend or, or an evening, you could have this done in an evening definitely. That's two or three coats if you want and then buff the paint up to bring out the wax in the paint or for a heavy traffic project like a chair that you're going to keep sitting on or a table that you want to keep wiping down um, you can use the one coat sealer and it really is just one coat of sealer that you use and it gives it a really good finish don't think I'll be sealing this one. I might, I might just seal the top of it maybe, but not the legs. I'm hoping to do a little collection of these plant stands and tables, all different colours. Make a nice little collection to go together. going to remember this time to 
to leave a bit, little bit unpainted so I can turn it round without getting loads of paint on my hands. So, so I'm doing this one a little bit slower, like I said, just to just to make sure that I have covered absolutely everything. You find your own technique. Everyone paints differently. Nobody's taught me to paint. I've just done it myself. I've just started. And you learn and you make mistakes. And sometimes I've made mistakes and they've turned out to be even better than I anticipated. I quite often end up repainting things because I've decided I want a different colour and uh, it all works out great in the end so a bit like the last video this plant stand's got a kind of leatherette top on it so it's up to you whether you want to just paint over that or decoupage over it. I do tend to decoupage them, but it really wouldn't matter. And I think with, if you're going to put a big plant pot on this one, you're not going to see it anywhere. Right. Nearly done. And then just the top to do. Actually gonna put it there. If I just come around now to the other side. Just to show you. I mean these are really dated bits of furniture. Um they're all perfectly serviceable, usable. They just don't go with our decor anymore. So let's get them brightened up. So we'll just do that slowly. So we're going to make sure the paint's all, all around there now. There's no bits showing through. Wedgwood blue is brilliant for any room in the house, um, lounge, bedroom, and I, we, combined with some of the creams as well, makes a really good kitchen colour. Kind of reminds me of my grand's kitchen, a kind of 1950s colour in our old bungalow. Just really really nice colours and this will go on kitchen cupboards as well you have to use the sealer if you're going to put it on your kitchen cupboards because you want to be able to wash those down so it's actually starting to dry now on the legs so I can, I can lift it up I will still be covered in paint when I'm, when I'm done, but I'm kind of used to it now. Yeah, I've just cut a bit there. So this is already drying. I don't know if you'll be able to see or not. So if I kind of give that a, another coat there, that's going to need two coats and no more. So the difference in colour is going from like a dark mahogany style to this lovely light blue. There we go. 
I'm looking forward to getting these finished. They're going to look great. I'll just go around now. A few more. We'll do some dark wax projects as well coming up soon. I'm not sure that would work well with this colour but I've done some dark wax projects with the latte lately and they've come out really well so I'll probably use that. You can see it, I'm kind of handling it now but that's definitely drying and it's not the, the heating not on high at all it's uh it's around about 18 degrees and there we go and we're done for now let that dry give that another cart Wedgewood, Everlong, Superior Finish Paint.